For five days, it was kept a secret. No one knew the name of the American soldier believed to be responsible for the massacre of 16 Afghan civilians, nine of whom were children, an incident that roiled relations between the two countries. But on Friday, a senior U.S. official says the man accused in the killings is Army Staff Sergeant Robert Bales. He's an 11-year veteran who was in the middle of his fourth tour in a war zone. Just that, it's a tragedy. Uh, we are uh, disappointed that it happened and shocked just like everybody else. But what could have motivated this 38-year-old husband and father of two young children to kill? Representing Bales is this man, John Henry Brown, whose client list includes the so-called barefoot bandit. He said Bell saw Comrade's leg blown off on the day before the shooting rampage. Gravely injured, um, which affected all of the soldiers. Brown also says that Bales lost part of one foot because of injuries suffered in Iraq. It was during one of his three tours of duty there. Brown adds that when his client heard he was being sent to Afghanistan late last year, he did not want to go. A senior U.S. defense official has said that Bales was drinking alcohol in the hours before the attack. If true, that would be a violation of a U.S. military order. Officials also say Bales is due back in the U.S. and will now be held in the military's only maximum security prison at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. Bianca Davey, Associated Press.